Hi Leo, welcome to your September 2015 Tarot Scope reading for the month. Thank you so much for joining me. Just to let you know, I will be doing a five card spread for you this month. And then after that, I'm going to pull one card from the Talking to Heaven Angel deck by Doreen Virtue. I did this for my Virgos this month because it is their birthday. And I thought if I had any grieving Virgos, uh, it would be nice to bring them some comfort at this time. So I thought that I would continue that for the rest of the signs for the month as well. Okay, so let's get right on to your reading. Spirit, what messages do you have for the Leos of the Zodiac for the month of September 2015? What do we have for my lions? Lion, hear me roar. Okay, Leo, the first card we have for you for the month of September is the Nine of Cups Upright. Your desires are fulfilled, have been fulfilled, or will be fulfilled. Lovely card. This is all about enjoyment, being content, feeling content, pure pleasure, gratification, creature comforts, a job well done. This could be an up in status and at work social status or financial status. This person in this card, I mean, they have money in the bank as uh, depicted by all those cups up there. They're sitting there, you know, eat, drink, and be married. They got a belly full of food, a smile on their face, and all is well in their world. Physical pleasures, satisfaction, material happiness. So that's nice. You know, it's nice to have some financial security because it definitely brings a peace of mind moving forward. The next card we have for you for the month of September is the Wheel of Fortune card upright. You guys just really have like golden nuggets going on all around you. This is a change for the better. This is some situation in your life that really turned around or took off and went in a good direction. This is good luck, advancement, new opportunities. Uh, the world is your oyster. Um, and that's a wonderful card to follow. The Nine of Cups. I mean, this is like, you know, a, a fairy dust sprinkled down from the heavens that are helping the Leos to advance in their life in one way or the other, or maybe multiple ways. This could be social, personal relationships, romance, and finance, as well as career. I mean, you might just be hitting the jackpot in every aspect of your life. And if it's not in every aspect of your life just yet, well, hold on to your hats because you have the Eight of Wands upright, and this is full steam ahead. Swift action, forward motion. You have plans or goals in your mind that you are wanting to take action on or you've already started taking steps towards them. The wheel is in motion. Um, you're working to make things happen, putting in the time. This can also be smooth and rapid progress, which is wonderful. You're getting quick results. You're moving at a fast pace. It's like boom, boom, boom. You know, it's like you're getting the cosmic green light at every single intersection you hit. Nothing is standing in your way with the eight of rods. I'm sorry, with the Eight of Wands. The next card we have for you, Leo, is the Magician card upright. This is mastery of special knowledge. Somebody who's focused, focused energy. You're honing in on your skills. You can make something happen out of thin air. What you think about, you bring about. Law of attraction. Anything you touch will turn to gold. Anything you try to create will just manifest. You have wonderful, wonderful cards for the month of September. Uh, I wish that I had this spread, to be honest with you. It's like, it's like genie in a bottle, you know? Your wish is my command. <laughs> and I like you so much that, you know, you can have more than three wishes. I mean, let's hook it up for the Lions of the Zodiac. So this is wonderful. You know, use this time to really manifest some wonderful stuff. card we have for you, Leo, for the month of September is the Three of Cups Reverse. 
This speaks to too much of a good thing or overindulging, self-indulgence. Like harmful excess, you know, you might be partying too much, traveling too much, spending too much money at one time, you like shopping sprees, um, just sex, drugs, and rock and roll mentality. You know, everything here is going so well, so you're kind of throwing caution to the wind and just hanging out like a rock star. So this is uh, in your possible outcome position. The advice here is to have some moderation. Don't let the success go to your head too much. Don't let your head blow up. Don't let your ego go. Don't turn into, you know, somebody who's greedy, materialistic, arrogant, treating other people like they're beneath you. If you're overindulging, it will catch up to you. Too much partying, too much sex, too much drugs, too much rock and roll, too much reckless spending, reckless driving, reckless decisions, you know, just not taking care of yourself or taking care of the relationships around you, disregarding other people in your decision making, being totally selfish. I mean, that's all part of it. So the advice again here is to, you know, indulge yourself, enjoy your the fruits of your labor, enjoy your success, but be responsible about it. Be mature, be an adult. Um, if, you know, if you overindulge a little bit, that's fine. You know, we all need to do that. But know what your boundaries are and, and, and pull yourself back from, from making poor decisions or overindulging to the point where poor decisions are made and it just really ultimately speaks to your demise or it ruins all of the success that has come in over here. You know, it's like that old saying about when people are on top, they can only ride high for so long before they come crashing down. Or like people in Hollywood who are so successful and have so many wonderful things going for them that they end up blowing it because they get involved in nightclubs and out till four in the morning and snorting co cocaine and getting hookers and whatever else. You know, I mean, it's like destructive behavior. So this is just saying keep your head out of the clouds and, um, and you know, just... Be cool. Don't be all uncool. For for my Leos out there who watch um, The Real Housewives of New York City when Luann said that, that's just what popped in my head, okay? All right, Leo, so that's your reading for the month of September. Please let me know if this resonated with you. I'd love to know your current circumstance. And I'm going to pull one card from the Talking to Heaven Angel deck if I have any Leos out there. Who are missing somebody at this time? As a soul, I can be in several places at once. Wrap your mind around that. Isn't that interesting? I think about that sometimes. Because uh, it's like, how, how can you possibly do that? But, you know. We'll find out one day when we cross over. I'm going to read to you the, the description that came with Doreen Virtue's. Uh, comes, she, always in, she includes a little book you know, with her cards to give you some extra insight. I'm going to read that for you. Without the human body, I am free and I have amazing new abilities. I can travel to any place in almost any dimension with just a thought. It's like living in one of those flying dreams that you and I discussed. So I can be with you as often as you need me, and it won't hold back my spiritual growth. If you miss my presence, just say the word and I'm there by your side instantly. Although I'm not technically an angel because I still have my human ego to deal with and learn about, I am like an angel to you. I will do my best to protect you always, and you can count upon my continuing love. So there you have it. Your loved one is hanging out with this unicorn. And how cool would that be? So, Leo, there is your reading for the month of September. Again, I hope it resonated with you. Please feel free to leave comments and questions in the comment section below. Like, subscribe, and share. I would appreciate it. And if you want to get a hold of me, it's lifelovetarot at gmail.com. Thank you so much for joining me. We'll see you back here for next month. Namaste, my friends.